In this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how you add uh, tracking skills to your additional foot launching. So this will be important for people who have any sort of medical impediment that prevents them, like me, from going very fast. Maybe you're just a fat ass who needs to sit down on a bike. That's fine. Uh, we like everybody that flies. So um, sit back and watch and you'll see me go ahead and, and do this new skill. I enlisted the help of Tyson Russell of Fun Flying PPG in Puyallup, Washington. In this exercise, he has me driving around on the trike, steering with my feet and holding my hands in the air as if I was holding onto brakes. This is a simulation, the purpose of which is just to get familiar with steering the trike with my feet, uh, eventually working my way up to 20 miles per hour, which is the uh, goal for a launch. The trike itself is designed made specifically for the Nitro 200 by Aviator PPG out of Lake Wales, Florida. I'll be doing a review of this trike in a future video. After several runs at slow speeds and turning, I was finally ready to do my simulated takeoff run accelerating to the goal of approximately 20 miles an hour. You can see I'm going a little bit faster here, and I have to put quite a bit of pressure to keep that uh, wheel from shimming. It's very important to have good wheel control on a trike, because if the wheel starts shimming, you can tip over, and especially with the wing, things can go, go bad and get ugly really quick. Apparently, I did a good job, because after I was done doing that, um, Tyson decided that it was time to add the wing and see if we could taxi and keep the wing under control. A quick snap for posterity, and it's onto the wheel kiting. I gotta be totally honest, it was actually quite fun driving this little trek around the field. Uh, it's something like a cross between an airboat and a uh, go kart. And you don't really need brakes because it naturally has a bit of friction that slows it down. The grass surface seemed to slow it down if you just uh, got off the throttle. Just as with foot launches, good layouts lead to good inflations. And this is even more important with a trike. Because of the fact that you can't quickly sidestep, the wheels are going to track straight in one direction until you turn it. If you turn the opposite way that the wing is tipping, you're going to tip the trike over. So it's very important you start off with the trike aligned well up with the wing. And that's what Tyson's explaining here. If you look closely, you can see that the lines are lying on the ground next to the wheels. This poses a risk that once I do the initial inflation, that a line could get caught on a wheel. Now, most trikes have something called line holders that are approximately halfway up the sides of the hoops. And this is what Tyson is noticing that we don't have at this point. So after a bit of thought, I discovered that I had a whole bunch of zip ties in my truck and we fashioned some line holders simply out of zip ties. After Tyson gave a demonstration of how to do the proper inflation and control going down approaching takeoff speeds, I was ready to give it a shot. Okay, so this should get the inflation.
a few more uh, taxing runs just getting familiar with the trike and the wing together i wasn't able to take off because uh, next to the field there was a renaissance festival going on and under far 103 we're not allowed to fly near uh, gatherings of people so we went ahead and we moved to a different location the following day to do our solo Oh, the switch, yeah, sorry. That's all right. The prop.